Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. We're going to have some fun doing some more farmhouse miniature decor. And we're going to start off with probably my least favorite one. It's kind of a catch-22. I really love this little table, but the gnomes just didn't turn out the way I thought they would. But I am going to show you because everybody's taste is different. And what I don't like, you guys might like or you might have a better way in making it better so I you know just thought I would still throw this in here but the little table is super cute and I just use miniature clothespins and a miniature little piece of wood and hot glued those clothespins to the bottom and painted them to match the sides of the wood then taking the base off those little miniature christmas trees i thought i would give this table a little bit of height by adding just a little um three little bases to it um so that when you put stuff on it you know you'd have different heights now the gnomes these little garden gnomes you can get at dollar tree they come three for a dollar and normally with the style of farmhouse anything you paint white kind of turns out cute except for these <laughs> well i guess like i said everybody has their own style and taste y'all might like these i didn't like them all white so i thought i would come back in with some burnt umber and add a little brown to the hat then i just got carried away and i thought maybe the coat should be red for a pop of color they ended up looking like little mini santas <laughs> So if you like little gnomes like I do, um, do this your way. <laughs> or give me suggestions of how I could have done this different. Maybe just kept them white and added a little hints of brown. I don't know. But then I took my table and I just hot glued those little gnomes to the table. I promised DIY number, what do we got going here? This is actually two of the five. Um, the rest of them are pretty cute. This one, not so much my favorite. <laughs> so we're gonna head on to DIY number three. So this one actually, I love using popsicle sticks. Popsicle sticks can be used in so many different ways. And we're gonna make a little popsicle stick wooden kind of farmhouse door sign with this. And I used four of the larger ones and two smaller ones to glue together to make this sign. You don't need to glue the larger ones together because when you come in and glue that top smaller one, it holds them all together. And then I just painted it with some, I think I was using burnt umber. I might've been using coffee bean. They're pretty close in color. And I painted it brown and came in with some white to distress it. You. Then I grabbed one of my Dollar Tree calendars and on the back it shows what the pages are of the calendar and they're mini. <laughs> so I cut one of those out and used my lighter and burnt the edges. You don't have to use a lighter and burn the edges. You can rip the edges or you can just cut it in the shape that you want. I like the burnt edges so I went with that technique. Once that was done, I just Mod Podged it to the front of it and I thought it was too bright on this dark piece so i came in with my brown paint i went over it i wish i wouldn't have done that now back looking at it it made it just a little bit too dark or maybe even just use some more white paint and went over it to blend it into the sign but either way it was still cute it was just mine was just a little bit too dark then using some floral i came in and added some floral to the top with a little tight twine bow Alright, 
we're gonna head over to DIY number four. I know the screen says three, <laughs> but I counted the gnomes as one of them. So we're gonna take one of those Dollar Tree palettes and flip it over. And when you flip it over, you have wider slots on the back. So we're gonna take some of the medium-sized popsicle sticks and we're gonna fill in those gaps to make it more um, filled in and more, I think it looks more like palette wood with them filled in. It does take two popsicle sticks glued together to fill it in so that it's a smooth surface and it doesn't dip in where the popsicle sticks are, if that makes any sense. So you're gonna glue two of them together twice and you're gonna fill in those gaps, which is really easy. Just add in some hot glue to the palette, putting it in and cutting off the edges. Super simple. Now we're gonna paint the whole piece white. Um, I'm using just white acrylic paint and I painted the top and the sides. I didn't paint underneath just cause I didn't think you would see it, but you can paint the whole piece if you would like. I grabbed some of these little mini squares from Dollar Tree and I also painted them white as well. And then I'm just gonna hot glue those squares using the small popsicle sticks as a guide. I set two of the small sticks on either end and use that along with the line in the palette to position them so they would be centered and straight on both sides. Then I came in with my burnt umber acrylic paint and I distressed the palette. And I know I kind of got ahead of myself last time and told you how I attach those little squares. <laughs> We're going to be doing that next. <laughs> but I am also going to show you these hair accessories I got at Dollar Tree. And they are for your hair. So they're in that section of Dollar Tree, but they look like little springs to me. And I thought that that would be so cute on these for the handle. I'm also going to show you that they come in different colors. There was silver, gold, and pink. And how adorable are these little hair spirals? And for crafting, I just thought that those just resembled little springs. And I thought that would be really cute on here as the handle on our little mini tray. Okay, for the step of attaching them, I wish I would have had some of those silver flat headed push pins. That would have been perfect. You could have just put a push pin on either side where the circles are on these springs and you would have been easy peasy done. I didn't have any, so I was trying to attach them with hot glue. <laughs> and blooper alert number one is coming up. I could get them attached with the hot glue, but then I thought, well, how about bring a little screw in here and try to screw them on and it just split that wood <laughs> I should have known <laughs> 
but that's okay I'm gonna go get me some push pins to finish this project but um, for right now hot glue is holding those springs on as the handles so DIY number five, I know it says four, but it's five. We're gonna do a little miniature milk can using an aspirin bottle and two number twos, little wooden twos. Now, I cut the tops or the bottoms off of those twos and then I just started trimming until they were flush with that little aspirin bottle. Um, those are gonna be your handles. I kept cutting the wrong direction. You wanna cut down, not up, to get them flush. <laughs> That's why you see me cutting quite a few times to try to figure this out. Once I had one the right way, I used that to cut the other one so that they would both match and then just hot glued them to the bottle. See where I wrote on there, you'll shoot your eye out, kid? <laughs> from that uh, movie, The Christmas Story. Um, every time I cut popsicle sticks or anything little that's wooden, they just go flying. And every time I do it, it makes me remember that movie. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just being silly. But back to the project. We are going to attach those little handles with hot glue and then reinforce, reinforce them with more hot glue. And that's okay. I know you can see the hot glue, but when you paint it, it kind of makes the handles look like they were welded on. It gives it a pretty neat effect. So then we're just gonna come back in and glue that lid to the top, upside down, and hot glue it right to the top and you have your little milk can. And all that's left to do is paint it and add an embellishment if you would like. Um, I think I've shown you many times, I know other people how to make these paint them to make them look like metal and you can just use like a gray a black and a white to get that effect you want to start with black come back in and dab over that with some gray and just keep going until you have the desired like metallic or metal can look and then come back in with white that really lightens it up and really finishes it off I also came in at the end with some burnt umber and went around the edges and pretty much all over it to kind of give it that rusted look as well. So we're heading into blooper alert number two. Oh my goodness. I went to grab my Waverly paint and at first I thought that was like the cardboard piece on the top of the paint that I had to push through to get to the paint. Then I realized that was the paint. My paint had totally dried up in the bottle and it was almost like silly putty when I was trying to get it out. And I'm like, oh my goodness, this paint's not that old to be doing that. So we had to chuck that, put it in the trash, and head on over to my little stockpile mini acrylics, and I grabbed the white. And that's what I used to finish painting this little can. I then grabbed one of my little embellishments from Hobby Lobby and hot glued that to the front of this and we're done. So cute and it's so tiny and I absolutely love this little milk can. If you don't have one of those embellishments or something like it, you can always print off one um, on Google Images and that works perfect if you Mod Podge it. Last weekend, we got some snow here down south. That's what my front yard looked like. I just wanted to share it with you. But here they all are, and they turned out so cute. They're so tiny. I'm going to show you how I decorated with them on my little mini shelf, or tiered tray, I'm sorry, and how where I put them on my shelf. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this little miniature farmhouse video. I'm having so fun, so much fun making these minis. And if you have any mini suggestions, put it in the comments below. I love your suggestions. And the next video is going to be miniature Easter decor. So stay tuned for that one on Thursday. I love y'all. I hope you're all having a blessed and wonderful day. I'll see you guys soon. Bye, y'all. No.